Hello! What's up? What's up? <sighs> so, we're continuing on with Finding Paradise today. Nothing much? Huh. It'd be like that, I guess. Wait, have I... I'm kind of curious. I've actually been wondering about this for a while. But, like, have I... Where the hell is it? My god. My fucking scenes are a mess. Where is my fucking chat? Here. <laughs> uh... Oh no, wait. Oh, I know exactly what it is. Okay, well... Uh... can add, add this one. Alright. I just was thinking about my chat because my chat box looked really weird. Fuck, I just grabbed the wrong thing. God. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's probably fine. I'll fix it later. I was supposed to fix it a while back. <laughs> I, I I realized it actually like uh on 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 Sunday when I saw that you were like chatting and I couldn't really see it in my own like little box here. So I was like, wait have I like <laughs> what's it called? Like chroma keyed it? <laughs> to green I think I have actually, which is like this entire like box. I'm like, I'm like tempted to just like, uh, remove the chroma key just so you can see what it actually looks like. <laughs> but basically where my, where my face cam is right now is just green. That's pretty much it. Um. So. Yeah. I'm hoping I can actually finish Finding Paradise today. Because like I said last time, it's around like six hours long and we're like halfway through, I think. Well, I saw, like, uh, between, like, five to six hours. Which sounds pretty doable to me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I always do it for this song. Um, speaking of songs, uh, after I finished I, the Somnium Files, I now have the fucking song. What's it called? Fucking... Invincible Rainbow Arrow. I have it stuck in my head. I found out, like, the entire fucking soundtrack is on Spotify, first of all. But I was like, no, but I want to, like, have it on stream. So I had to buy it to put it on my fucking iTunes. I could have just downloaded it, but no. I want to be as legal as I can be. <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's been stuck in my head. I guess next next move is to just um what's the word I'm thinking of? <laughs> New update being legal is illegal. <laughs> well. But yeah, you can see that your fucking username or whatever, it just my god, it doesn't- it doesn't show up there! There, okay, it doesn't really show up there. It's kind of like... Ooh, it's Keith Hallen. <laughs> That's totally my fault. I didn't realize until now. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's- it's only- It's only in this chat box, though. It's fine in the, in the one that I actually have for my game screen. <laughs> but yes. The song is stuck in my head. And I guess the next step is to learn the dance. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I have problems. <laughs> ah, kidding. It's also, it's, it's actually been kind of hard to learn because there is a lot of words. Or more like there are a lot of sounds and a lot of those sounds just don't agree with my mouth. <laughs> Which is really annoying. 
We're gonna get nail polish. What color? Or are you gonna get like a design or... What type of nail polish? You don't know yet? It's perfectly cool. I, I, I love nail polish myself, but I never use it because... Your friend wanted to do your nails. Oh, that's so cute. But yeah, I, I like nail polish, but I can't wear it because once it starts peeling off, I peel it off. And that damages your nails. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. Because <laughs> my nails are struggling enough as is. <laughs> my mom has been like uh, telling me that I can join her to her like nail technician or whatever so that I can get like gel, gel nails which will last a lot longer but I don't know gel kind of scares me I'm not gonna lie <laughs> anyways I think without any further ado so fake nails well no not fake nails really uh, it's like you have this thing that you like put on your nails. No, it's like gel nails is like this gel you put on your nails. It's not something you just kind of like press on. It's not press ons or like fake nails. Uh, you usually just like fill them yourself. I guess they're like fake nails in a way that they're not your real nail, but they're not like fake nails really because it's like. You can extend your nails, it doesn't have to. <laughs> uh, I guess, yeah, they are fake. <laughs> By, uh... You're right. <laughs> I'm just thinking too hard about stuff. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. I just got a full screen the game for myself. There we go. Cool. There we go. All right, uh, yes, what happened last time? So, what was his name again? I don't remember, Colin, right? That's dangerous, she should really get down from there. Who is Faye? <laughs> Why does she know stuff that his wife, Sophia, does? Okay, I gotta find some stuff. What's it called? I don't remember. <laughs> I haven't played this for like, what, two days and I already forget? Damn. Life hits hard. Psst, the new kid they hired is really quiet. Yeah, but at least he gets the work done. Doesn't he have a scheduled flight this afternoon? Yeah, but we're playing short because someone snagged a blown tire. Now someone gets cancelled, I don't think he'll get the fly. Does he even have an instructor yet? It's me. Hey, I think they're talking about you. I know, shh. Okay. Those memory orbs or whatever the hell they're called, I forget. Barry is still struggling every single time. Okay. Here, let me get that for you. You just gotta unhook it from the inside and... Oh, that is some crazy maneuvering, kid. 
I've been here for years and I could never figure that thing out. You must have, like, some kind of magical vending power. Um, I only know because I have to clean it, so... Well, I, I guess that's kind of fair. Okay, here's $24 and change. Wow, that's a lot of pennies. It's okay, I have all day. Ma'am, you're at an airport? <laughs> Well, turns out that wasn't a memory, so... Just like that, huh? I guess everyone has their reason to start flying. Hmm, what about you? Don't worry, her plane leaves next week. She, she likes being... Like, she likes being at the airport early. Like, in, like a week in advance early. Well, just between you and me, flight instructing isn't my real passion. In fact, before I came here to teach, I was an acrobatic sky-riding pilot. Wow, like making stuff appear in the sky with plane trails? Yep, I was darn good too! Then I got fired. Why? Total discrimination, I tell ya. It was all because they found out I'm an illiterate who dropped out of school. Did they care that I was the most skillful pilot in the fleet? No! But just because I don't read good, they drop me like a hot potato. Ugh, it riles me up just thinking about it. Yeah, that really doesn't sound fair. Well, um, maybe if I need your service one day, I'll be able to hire you. Thanks, kid. Man, first you get me my soda, then you vow to give my life meaning again. See that I'm gonna have to flight instruct the heck out of ya. That went well. She sure makes herself at home. She sure does. Love that for her, honestly. Ah oh, yes, the cat plane. Book? A blurred entry about working at the airport and Faye falling asleep on the wing of the plane. There's also some random class notes. Read, sure. About runway, stalling. Let's learn about planes! <laughs> the runway numbers actually tell you the direction of the runway. Simply add a zero to the end of the runway number and you have the magnetic head heading it's facing. E.g. Runway 9 means it is 90 degrees on a magnetic compass, so it's facing east. This is actually interesting. This is also why the numbers on opposite ends of each runway are always 18, 180 degrees apart. Oh, you knew this? Cool. Each plane has a minimum airspeed it must maintain under each configuration to keep flying. Something about exceeding critical angle of attack and airflow, separating from the air f airfoil, etc, etc. Conclusion, planes are kind of like the bus in that movie which explodes if it goes under 50 miles per hour. Oh, what's that movie called again? I know what it's called. It's just escaping me right now. Uh... Your mom is an air traffic controller. Cool. But en engine failures. Contrary to some beliefs, engine failure doesn't make the plane plummet out of the sky. The plane would no longer be able to climb, but can still land in a pilot-controlled glide. Reminder to self, engine failure doesn't just make the plane plummet out of the sky, engine failure doesn't just make the plane plummet out of the sky, engine failure doesn't just make the plane plummet out of the sky. Well, someone's scared of the plane plummeting out of the sky, which is fair, I think. Hmm, we might be in a bit of a rut. There's still a memory link missing, and the readings indicate we've, indi we've activated everything in the area. Eh, maybe we could stimulate his memory somehow. Hopefully, let's keep our eyes open. I mean, the one... Did you feel that? What? I don't know, some kind of a breeze. Hold on, what the hell was that? Something ran this way. 
everything prepared and ready again, sir. I've done every weight and balance calculation, pre-flight checkup, and document check. Cool, but the wind's picking up, so your solo cross-country flight is cancelled. No, not the wind! Anything but the wind! Why does this always happen to me? Well... This wasn't open earlier. Did you do that? Uh, if I did, you would know. I've been literally right behind you. In fact, I don't even know why I'm just following you in a constant pattern. <laughs> uh... Um... What the heck is this? I don't know. But it seems like this may be our ticket out of this memory. So what, we needed a way to continue and this place just magically opened itself up? In the most unsettling way, no less? I'm not sure what's going on with this place either, but there's only one way to go now. Come on, we gotta jump. Oh, hey, oh no. I can't even look down. It's the only way to find out, Neil. Okay, I'm jumping in three, two. Quit pushing me off ledges, Eva. What? I didn't push you. The fuck you didn't. Whoa. Hey, you hanging on alright? What is even going on and why is this happening? Wait, tone your ham down. I think I see them inside. Hold on, let me just... Do you talk more British English than, uh, or American English? Um... American, for sure. What is even going on and why is this happening? You're doing just fine. We're not gonna die. Now, do you have the runway in sight? Ah, uh, I, th I think so? Okay, fly the approach. And don't forget the cockpit check. Um, mixture of full rich, uh, primer in and locked. Zero Yankee Romeo, clear to land runway 21. Zero Yankee Romeo. You're too high. Get some flaps in there. Speed! Lower the nose! Alright, I, I have control. Oh, thank god. Hold on, it looks like we're gonna land. Who the hell pushed Neil, though? Someone did, and it wasn't Eva this time. You all good? No, Eva, I'm not all good. In fact, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, uh, that's, that was funny. Get the fuck up. All right. Is it normal to feel kind of dizzy? Don't worry, you'll get past it in time. You know what? Here, take my hat. Nah, you remind me of back when I was young, lad. Yes, the cursing is really... <laughs> it's really something in this game, huh? As in back then, I also knew someone else who was nervous like you. Hey, you look pretty cool in, th in that. This was nothing compared to the acrobatic skywriting flights I've done, I tell ya. One day, I'm gonna get back to that. 
just gotta learn how to read first. <laughs> There's gotta be something here. A hat? A hat. Okay, I see. Bam! Right through the noggin! God, Neil, shut up. Another headshot, Eva. No scope! God, shut up. <laughs> Booyah! Give him the concussion. You're lucky I programmed my head to be hard as a rock. You sure planned ahead. All right. We got here. Do I remember how this works? Okay, I need the hat. Anyway, uh... That goes over there. Wait, how? <laughs> I'm gonna... Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I guess he still didn't learn how to read or write, I guess. God damn it, Barry. Well, he did warn him. Miss spell proposal? No, I think it's kind of sweet. That's why he got fired. God, okay, so that switches that. One single orb for the memory of his proposal? Hey, at least he remembered it. Man, how are you able to pilot an airplane but not drive a car? Priorities, thanks to you. Come on, we're gonna be late. She's sure getting lots of screen time compared to his wife at his proposal. There's something about her that really bothers me. I don't take it so personally. It's not like Colin's your husband. That's not what. Ugh, never mind. Hey, actually, what's the matter? You know, I think I'm gonna pass on this one. It's your first rehearsal with them, right? You're nervous enough as it is. 
Hey, I'm not nervous. And even if I uh, were... Well, you being there would help. I guess, but... I can't always hang around, you know? Besides, you'll be able to concentrate better without me hanging about. Hey, remember how you always used to tell me about your day after school? Why don't you go on ahead, and you can tell me about it after the rehearsal. Okay, then it's decided. Bye! You'll be fine. Why you? Why did? You, why did you jump into a bush? Wow! What a wacky gal. Wait, I haven't read the. Someone's a little cuckoo in the head. I missed a proposal message for the whole city to see. Okay, you said something there, to be honest. I did not like the sound into the moon, and I do not like it now. Mm, what is going on? Hey, the rehearsal is about to start. Chop, chop. Couple blank pages. Okay, that's the memento anyway. Why did it suddenly get so eerie? Is this the right place? Oh, I can't believe I'm late. Was that Sophia? I guess so. Wait. <laughs> I am so confused. Colin and Sophia met at a community band rehearsal. Don't tell me that Faye is gonna fucking die, please. Okay, stop, stop, stop everything. Something was off around bar 36. From somewhere on my right side. By someone in the cello section. Someone sitting in the second row toward the front. Colin, is it? I think you were rushing a bit. Better watch that. I will. All right, let's pick back up from bar 35. Right into the solo, ready? Okay, so I can go back to the book. Hello? There we go. Still, why was it so eerie? I don't understand. God... Brain... What that do? Ah, oh, I just can't move there. I see.
That works. Alright, I'm done with mine. Me too. Let's see what you... What is that? My best effort. Going on dates already. Sure moves fast. Well, we're still skipping around. Sometimes probably past. I love Finding Nemo. Gee, I wonder who he learned to draw like that from. to have interests other than gardening, I guess. Go take care of this memory, will you? Just leave me be for a while. Right. Well, I guess I've always loved the piano, but... When I was a kid, I had a piano teacher. Every time I played, she made me feel like the worst pianist in the world. For a while I stopped going, and I stopped playing. I guess I was a kid with no self-esteem, because it really got to me. And whenever I doubted myself, I'd remember her words. One day... I had enough. Oh my god. This thing is in the way. I just want to pour myself something to drink. I always forget to do this before I start the stream. It's... I don't even know how... How I keep forgetting it. I said to myself, someday I'm going to be a concert pianist. And isn't that letting her dictate what you do with your life? Well, I guess I have a weird way of seeing things. To me, it doesn't matter much which path I take as long as I make the most of it. There's, so, there's only so little time in this life, and we'd never be able to do all that we want. No matter what we do, there'd always be other things to try other paths to take. So in the end, I think I just have to be satisfied with the ones I, that I took. But I'm just blabbering now. Enough about me. How about you? What made you want to become a pilot? I... I wanted to fly to places. That's it? A long time ago, a friend of mine went somewhere far away. Mm, is he talking about Faye? I guess I just wanted to go find them again. No, wait, it's further back than that, right? Anything important going on up there? I'm not sure, I was staring at the sharks. Okay, call me when we're ready to move on. Okay, I got the memento. You sure aren't a fan of us. Sophia? A giant walled aquarium. Cool, 
that was it. What? No, I didn't. Well, good to know that he just automatically takes walks those stairs without any input from me. Where's the last memory orb? You're standing in my way. This way. Hey, where is it going? How? For a cephalopod, it sure is cuddly. It actually kind of tickles. Regret in Katak. Well, yeah, that would ruin, like, his clothes and stuff, wouldn't it? So... I'd say the proposal... Uh, it's, like, one of the least bad ones out of those, anyway. Okay, paper airplane. This took me way too long. <laughs> hey, we're good to move on now. Go on then, I'll catch right up. She likes jellyfish. So cute. You sure are taking your time. Ain't no one's kicking me out. Good thing I got my hours in time, huh? You'd better have. It's gonna be a different world out there. Ready to go? Yeah, in a moment. You done with your jellyfish face? It's not a face. And yes. What is going on here? Not sure yet, but the place sure looks deserted. Control plane? No one will be here to see it anyway. Okay. Notice of airport closure. Hmm, I guess all things come to an end. always liked that picture, yes? I had them save it for you. Just a little something to remember this place by. Thanks, boss. You've done good work for us, kid. Honest, respectful work. Oh, and I almost forgot. Your favorite plane's still here for one more day before we move her. I want to give her one last flight before then. It's on the family. Well, I know 
where I'm going. Oh, it's locked. Wait, there's a door here. It's locked too, sweet. Never mind, guess I don't know where we're supposed to go. <laughs> Out here? So, what's the next step? With the airport closing down and all? Sure. The freight flying job I applied for. I did an interview with them the other day. I think I got a good chance at it. There's still a long way to go, but that'll help me build some more flight hours. Wow. To think that you've actually come so far. Feels like only yesterday. We were still standing on that balcony. Thanks for giving me the kick I needed, by the way. Happy to have obliged. Hey! Any progress with that lady from the orchestra? Sophia? Well, we've been talking. And? I don't know, I might try to ask her out on a date soon. But, well, you know how I am with that stuff. You wanna help me prepare? Oh, I'm not sure if I'd be much of a help with those sort of things. But if you want advice, I'd say to just work on making yourself more interesting, blah blah. Yeah, yeah. Still a work in progress. You haven't talked- haven't been talking as often lately, you know? What happened to her? Why is she, like, not present in her, like, in his newer memories? I'm actually wearing a sweater that's too short today, whatever. Sometimes, even when I'm here, you just do your own thing. You know. Sorry, it's just been so busy. The good kind, though, right? Seems to me like you've got it together. I... Can I take a f take up that flight the boss offered? Harry said that there's a grass strip near the hill we used to go to, right? Be a good time to try landing there. Yeah, you coming along? Mm-hmm. It's odd how such a simple wish of being wish of being happy could be so tangled up. You sure didn't make it easy on us by being ambiguous with the details. Here, I got an idea. Permanent marker? There. Now let's go get paid. You moron, you can't just draw him a smile like that. Or was that what he did? I see it now. Lips are red, not black. Great job, now he looks like an affectionate joker. Oh my god. We've almost burned through all the memories, haven't we? Yes, the vortex should be just up ahead. Good, maybe that'll help us get to the source of what he wants. As if we don't know that already. It's her, obviously. There's a reason she keeps on showing up. The guy's clearly got his childhood sweetheart on his mind and, he's, and has been asking what ifs. He wants her, but he's got principles, so he knows he can't have her. Perfect equation for a sad, sad man who needs our help hacking the root of the problem. 
Are you suggesting to remove her? Well, if we do, you'd be the expert. Whatever happens, we'd have to change something. And in the end, she's the only one we could alter the most anyhow. Colin himself said we should try to avoid changing things involving his family, right? And out of these memories, face the only other inconsistency that we keep coming back to. I guess you're right. We could start with her and work our way up from there. But something still doesn't add up. Hello? Could it be? It's me, Roxy. I'm here. Oh. How's it going in there? Oh, awesomely, of course. How uh, are you doing? Did you bring the paperwork? Yep, I brought the paperwork, all right. I also brought Rob. What? I can't stand that guy. I can hear you. Hi, Rob. Hey. Anyway, you guys want to come out real quick to get the paperwork done? We're kind of on a roll here. Maybe we should ask them to help us with the papers. Oh, by the way, Neil, I was gonna ask about the machine. I think I saw. I'm heading out. Get the forms ready for a fill-in. Wait, what? You know the protocol, Ziva. Colin's our patient now, and one of us has to check the forms. Yeah, but we've let others help before, and headquarters never cared. Maybe we should have cared, Eva. Maybe we should have cared. What are you hiding, Neil? When were you one for protocol? Anyway, get the last memory link while I'm gone, will ya? I won't take long. I'm calling when you were when we're ready to go to the next memory. I don't want to miss it. Hey! Act two. You don't have to leave anymore. So, let me get this straight. You took apart the whole machine because the maintenance department sucked, but... Look, it was the easiest way. And I just left it to the company process. It would have never gotten done. Much like this paperwork. Oh my gosh, I just realized you're talking and writing at the same time. That's amazing. I hope I didn't cause you to make a mistake. I'm so sorry. You know, sometimes even I can't tell if you're being sarcastic, and that's saying a lot. Come to think of it, you actually remind me a bit of someone from this patient's memory. She's wacky and all over the place, too. Oh, I bet I would have loved to meet her. I'm sure you would have. Too bad we're gonna have to do something about her. Anyhow, whoosh, the paperwork's done and signed. Thanks for bringing in the docs, Rox. I'm gonna go check on Colin. Oh, you're just gonna get away like that? You might have fooled Eva and Rob, but did you think you could fool a fellow technician? I did a quick diagnostic earlier. Seems like you've done more than just removing the stabilizer. The machine you're using here isn't even your official Sigmund equipment, is it? Because your registered machine is back at headquarters. In your office. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm gonna find out. Hey Rob, how's situation looking? It's fine, I was talking with a medical doctor and... It's with a murderous atmosphere. Oh, Rob, you tripping again? No, I am not, in fact, tripping again. Is everything going okay in here? Swimmingly, Neil was just gonna go check on Colin. Yeah, I'm gonna go check on Colin. Book? What book? 
Oh, it's just the album. Wait. I also want to know why her hair grades so fast, or if it's like a fashion thing. I don't know. I don't. I don't think it is though. I think it's her hair actually grayed. Why did it gray so so fast? Something must have happened. Clearly. Huh. A whole lifetime of memories, and we barely ran into any of these nice ones. That's true. We've literally been through like most of his life. Can I go upstairs? Will he let me? Oh, he will. We're out early. Just needed to take care of some things. I'm heading back soon. That's good. Bring up Colin's memories? Yes. We're done connecting most of the paths through Colin's memories, by the way. Like, I could tell you about the things you found. I thought that would be considered confidential. Yeah, but you're his wife. I personally think you deserve to know. Oh. Oh, th those memories. Well, shit, I, I wasn't thinking. Thanks, but I'm okay. Aren't you at least a bit curious about the things we found? Sure, and there was a time when I'd have been dying to know every detail. No, I think it matters much anymore. Perhaps you know some things I don't. Maybe it'd even change my view of things. Still, even then, it'd just be another incomplete piece of reality. And after a lifetime where all is said and done, I feel like the best I could do is to simply stay with the reality I've come to peace with. There is, however, something I wanted to ask, only because I feel like it's meant for me. Did you find anything about why Colin put this book here, and like this? No, I was actually gonna ask you about it. He's had it for a long time now, but kept on replacing its pages. And now it's just filled with pieces of blank paper. Oh, do you want to know how much gameplay is left on average? Uh... Sure, I, I assume it's like a few hours. Wait, what, is, what was that? Something, that's all I ask. I wasn't paying attention. Understood. I'll keep an eye out for it. One hour, 40 minutes. Okay, cool. Then we'll definitely finish it. There is the picture. A faded old painting of a flying single-engine plane. Hey, wait! Dr. Watts, right? You know I haven't been the most welcoming and you probably know why by now. But I know you're just here to do your job. So, thank you for helping him. Yeah, no hard feelings. I will say the la the layout of this place is really strange. Okay, wait, let me. Try to leave him be. Disturbances only make my job harder. Okay. Taking a breather, huh? Paperwork mostly. Was he looking? Colin's okay so far, but you guys sure are stirring things up in there. Stirring things up? What do you mean? It's his brain activity. It's been abnormally high for a sedated patient. Try not to aggravate him too much in there. Wait, what? But we haven't been doing anything different compared to any other patient. Hey, I'm only telling you what I see. Anyway, just try to keep it in mind. I'll continue to monitor his, stat his status. Oh, okay, well, let me talk to Asher. Hey, may I talk to you in private for a moment? Uh, well, sure. Alright, come on. 
What's up? There is something I wanted to ask you. It's about my father's wish and what you saw in there. You know that's confidential, right? Yes, but... You must know what it's like being the family of a patient undergoing this procedure. To be honest, my mother was always against it and I wasn't a big fan either. But if father were to take on a new life, life's worth of memories... Well, knowing what and why would at least help me come to terms with it. So please, could you tell me? Sure. You know, your father actually wished for something completely unremarkable. He just asked to be happy, that's all. I guess he certainly isn't, huh? But you shouldn't look at it that way. People are always gonna have cravings and longings for what ifs. It's just curious about grass on the other side of the fence, that's all. As humans are. I suppose so. But hey, he really did ask for you and your mother to stay as a part of his new life. Hope that helps for what it's worth. Thanks, Doc. Good luck with the rest of it. I hope something works out. We'll do what we can. I'm not gonna hear me like this, need to use the machine. Patient Neuralink established systems online. View connection status. External neural connections one. Operator profiles. Dr. Eva Rosalane. Uh, Establish connection. Hey, Eva, do you hear me? Neil? Yep, I was going in there. Just trying to find the last memory link. Still? There was only one left. Yeah, I just... I don't know, I've looked everywhere. But the scan shows there's one more here somewhere. I'm gonna find it. Are you done with the paperwork? No, uh, I just... Damn it. Where are my pills? Oh yeah, that's right, he was like taking pills. For what? There is something seriously going up with... Neil here. N Neil? I better not have left them in the car again. Hey, you still there? Sorry, I'm not finished with the paperwork yet. Uh, how long does it take to fill and sign some papers? It's, uh, almost ready. I'll come back as soon as it's done. Alright, just make it quick. It shouldn't take that long to get to the car and back. Can I switch? Oh no, I cannot. Cool. They gave me this mechanic earlier in the game and then let me use it once and said, that's it. I knew you'd come by here. Oh, it's you again. Thanks for kicking Amber's doll into the pond for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Is that your mother? It's okay. I hope you traumatized that kid. She's been picking on my potatoes for my potato for years. It's time she learned her lesson. And now that I. Got an even smaller potato. I was really starting to worry about the future. You name your other kid Potato too? Of course not. Don't be silly. It's just a nickname. His real name is Spud. <laughs> Actually, I was I was gonna say something as a joke, but like looking at her color scheme. Um Ma'am, are you by any chance Irish? <laughs> like her color scheme is literally the Irish flag. The like green shoes, orange pants, white shirt. 
Oh, by the way, the front desk man said you're here to visit old man Colin. You know Colin? Yeah, he once literally beat up Amber for me. Did I use that word right, Ma? No, dear, you meant figuratively. Oh, aww. Whatever, so anyway, last week Colin gave me his leftover jar of lemon juice. I haven't seen him since then, though. Could you please give it back to him? Wait, lemon juice? What for? To write spy messages, of course. It's invisible ink! I've already written two secret letters to Spud for when he can read good. Oh, The book. The empty book. Old man Colin said he was already done using it, so I could borrow the whole jar if I wanted. Oh. Huh. Lucky me. So could you give the jar back to Colin? Well, I don't think Colin needs it anymore. You could probably keep it. Wowie, thanks! I'm gonna write a letter to myself! Okay, Potato, it's time to head back home. Aw, alright. Eva, are you calling from the machine? Yeah, at least this function is still working normally. Hey, listen, I think I might have figured out something about Colin's notebook. That's not important. Right now, I need you to check something for me. Uh, what? Hi! Is everything going okay in there? Did you find that last memory link? No, are you at a computer? I can be. Good. Could you run a second search? Can you could, could you run a record search on Faye and check for any aviation accidents? No. No. No, 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 no. You think she was in a plane crash? I just want to rule the possibility of something out. I'll send you her extract profile. There's enough data even without a last name. Let me know when you have the results. Okay. Ah, no. Your pills, man. Hello! Hey, Rox. You're still on your laptop, right? Yup, yup. Just forwarded a profile to you. Mind helping me running a record, record check? Sure! Mind telling me what you're up to with the machine? Uh... Okie dokie, Loki pokey! It's, sett it's settled then. I'll call you back with the results. Neil, Neil, Neil. What are you doing? Or not so much what are you doing, but like, what is those pills for? My god. Why are you suddenly so popular? You can walk and talk. Hey, Eva, I'm still working on the... Neil, can you hear me? Uh, yes? Hello? Are you there? I'm, I'm right here. What is it? Neil, if you can hear me. Listen, I don't think she... Eva? Uh, you still there? Weird. Calm must be malfunctioning. I'll fix it as soon as I get back. Can we go get the pills now, please? <laughs> In a minute. Huh. Nice bike. I wish I had one like it. Yeah, okay. Stop getting fucking distracted and get your fucking pills, idiot. Oh my god! Eva, what happened earlier? No, it's Roxy, you silly putty. Oh. Uh, so how's the record search going? Oh, it's going just great! Actually, no, it's not great at all. Well, what Rob's saying is that it depends on your perspective. 
What? It's a yes or no question. Did she die in a plane crash or not? Well... So, here's the great part. There's no plane crash to her record, so you won't have to worry about that. Sheesh, why didn't you just say so? Simple no would have sufficed. Well, that's not all, though. The thing is, not only is there no plane crash, there's nothing else to her record either. Why did I say that's so weird? Whatever, ignore that. In fact, there is no record of Faye. As in no record available to public domain? As in no record in existence. Anywhere. What, so he is schizophrenic? Or something like that? We've checked the... Cumulative public record, the private ID network databases even. Well, even a few places that we technically don't have access to. Still, there is no record of her for anything. No death. Not even birth. Oh. Oh. So... Unless Collins got some extreme form of distortive amnesiac condition... He doesn't, I checked. Yeah, so... Ooh, sorry, I got another call. Hello? Holy shit, he can run! Act 3, even if it, if it was just someone like me. Why... Why was that flickering? Hey, where are you two going? Company called. We got another patient going live across town. Yeah, gotta hop. Sorry, Neil. Night call, huh? Should've taken a nap. <laughs> We're all used to it by now. Seems like you've got a handful to sort out yourself, huh? Yes, if what we yielded means what I think it means. We might be in for a tricky evening. At least from our experience, patients capable of that tend to be rather peculiar cases. Capable of what? I read the patient's case, by the way. Care for a word of advice? Well, you're probably gonna give it anyway, so... <clears throat> I don't know the details of Colin's life, but this reminds me of a case we've done. Just try to remember that making someone happy isn't only about finding the answers. It could also be about shaping the question. Anyhow, good luck. By the way, don't you think you're getting off the hook easy? After this is done, you've got some explaining to do, don't you? Uh... And it's gonna be so much fun! See ya! I'm looking forward to it! Oh, wait! Something just occurred to me. Although I'm not sure why yet, I do know that you removed the machine stabilizer. But with the patient's subconsciousness being neurowired to the system's processor... Well... I hope you got a backup plan if he's able to get around its single-thread firewall. Um... You hear me, Eva? Going back in. Are you still there? Oh no. Not an error. Oh god. Well... Hey, Sophia. I think I found... We can talk later. Please head back in there for now. 
Seems like something's gone wrong. Okay, fine. Pursue memory? Yes. Memory traversal? Let's go. Eva? Why did she react? Only best not to provoke anything before figuring out what's going on. But is she a virus or something? I should find Eva first. Oh god, she is starting to freak me out. Wait, something's different with that Colin avatar. It is? Huh? Link to this ti his timeline's overworld got unlocked. Even if Eva's not here anymore, there anymore, it'd be easier to look for her from there. Not yet. Okay, I guess I'll have to. It might give me a choice if I have to anyways. Okay, I remember how this worked from last time. Eva? Are you here? Every memory of Colin that we've pieced together so far. It's gotta be in one of them. Okay, so I gotta line this up. Scan for activity. Personnel, Dr. Eva Rosalie, not a not detective. Okay. Rotate. Still missing one last memento. Better wait until we catch it, catch them all. Oh, okay. The vortex of the anomaly that's been bouncing us around. I guess it's near the memory we left off at. Not detected. JB. Did that not detected? Okay. Not detected. Not here either. Not detected. Oh no. She isn't gonna be anywhere, is she? Not detected. Dang nabbit. How can she be in the machine but nowhere in the memories? Unless. Oh my god, this is. This is- this is tying into the Somnium files. It's been over six minutes! <laughs> the insides of the eggs... Are- <laughs> Have swapped! <laughs> Unless... System- Narrow down Eva's most recent position. Well, duh. Freaking Bermuda Triangle. Guess it's back to the crime scene. System, load up all available recordings from here. Heading out, get the forms ready for a fill-in. Wait, what? Flipping corn cobs. How can this one memory link be so hard to find? God, me every time. 
And that idiot sure is taking a sweet time. Wait a minute. You at a computer? Good. Could you run a record search on Faye and check for any aviation accidents? I just want to rule the possibility of something out. Neil? Can you hear me? Hello? Are you there? Neil, if you can hear me. Listen, I don't think she's real. She's... He's all in his head and something strange is happening. Hello? Say something! Oh no, this is about to get scary. <laughs> oh boy. Is this welcome to Somnium? <laughs> you. What the fuck? What did you do to Eva? <laughs> I'm sorry. What the fuck is this? Damn it, this isn't even the freaking genre of patient I signed up for. Genre? The hell is this? What do you want? Leave. We can't leave, this is our job. Colin signed for us to be here. He changed his mind. Leave. You don't belong here. Fine, you wanna play hardball? Let's play, play freaking hardball! You may have the whole subconsciousness, but I'm still the admin of this world. I never thought I'd have to use this, but you leave me no choice. It's time to show you my true power! Hmm. Okay. Oh no. Impressive. Really. Truly. This just a controlled interface was a terrible idea. <laughs> Amazing, truly. If you think I'm going to show mercy, you'd be sadly mistaken. Give up now and maybe I'll consider- Please leave. Eggnabbit. This is so not what I built that black back door for. Guess even my code 
needs testing before practical use. Ah, uh, and what the heck happened to Eva? We need to get to the bottom of this. Okay, not exactly the girl across the balcony. Calling up the jar of lemon juice that could be invisible ink. Rarely any of the happy memories captured here were seen during the memory traverse. Colin and Faye had drifted apart. The airport Colin had trained at closed down. Colin took a squid to the face on the first day. Okay. Wrong button. Oh, oh, he runs now. Can I? No. Any instance of Colin should get me back to the overworld. Won't let me, will she? Okay, never mind. System, narrow down positions of rogue mental activity. She's split up everywhere? Where to even begin? I mean, as far back as possible, right? Like... She's here somewhere. System, disable interactivity for all non-operators. Non-operators, including Colin. At the very least, we can actually run now. That feels really good. Hey! Been here since the beginning, haven't you? I've only had a glimpse of his life. Don't speak as if you know the beginning. What is this place? You tell me. What? Wait a minute. This... This is my unfinished interface. How are you even here? And where is Eva? Why should I tell you? You were going to remove me from Colin's memories. Uh, we weren't necessarily gonna. You're here to do your job, are you not? You said yourselves that you'd start with me, then work your way up. We only said that because we didn't know you could hear us. Wait, that came out wrong. But listen, you need to believe me. I'm on the patient's side, not the contracts. This this is just a misunderstanding. We're here to do what's best for Colin, and you can work with us to make it happen. Hmm, that does sound enticing. It would be nice if that were the case. But should I believe you? Well, let's see. No! Access to current memory denied. Commencing forced booting. Hey, wait, I'm the admin! Damn it, did my own system just elope with my patient's freaking imaginary friend? to go in this case. Uh, 
Oh my god. Let me pass. That was you walking by here, wasn't it? That's none of your business anymore. This again. Hey, look over there! Okay, it isn't fair that you're basically wired to the system's processor. Why won't you just give up and leave us alone? I know Colin signed the contract, but he only did it out of desperation. He didn't understand the consequences, but he does now. Listen, I don't know what you take us for, but we're here we're here to help him. I mean, I don't know exactly how yet, but at least give us a chance. Just tell me where Eva is and give us the memory link so we can finish the job. Your colleague. To tell you the truth, I don't actually know where she is. And as for the memory link? These sprites are amazing. You'll have to go through me. Shit. <laughs> There's a fucking battle? <laughs> okay. Can I, hold on. That was your choice. So be it. Oh no. That's not fair. I can't even leave a mark on you. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> oh shit! Ah! <laughs> there was no chance at all. Access to current memory denied. Commencing force booting. Okay, this sucks. Okay, let's go back here, actually, and see if I can interact with something. I don't think I can, though. I mean, if you really want to fly so bad, Faye said, why don't you go and become a pilot? Try, but I sure don't recall the poster looking like that. I look a little distorted, by the way. Oh, she was there. You try squeezing in there and looking the same. Hey, look, that paper plane thing was totally uncool. But what did you mean when you said you don't know where Eva is? I saw the footage. You were the one who locked her away. No. All I did was lock the communication channels and give her a scare. I don't know where she went afterwards. In fact, she disappeared soon after you returned. Disappeared as in she unplugged from the machine? Yes, she's no longer here. And if you don't leave too... Well, I'm... I'm gonna make you leave! Wait, how are you even accessing my private programs like this? That wasn't what I was asking at all. Uh, I don't know the buttons! Uh, jump? Okay. Okay, okay. I- There is no fucking way. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Access to current memory denied. Commencing forced booting. What is this anymore? Ugh. Did you ever really unplug from the machine? Maybe I should too. Wait. But if I'm not here either, they might even be able to reset our progress. Guess that there is at least some use in keeping her bus busy. Mm -hmm. 
So, how did you buy a ticket for that seat? I wasn't even here in the actual memory. Get it right. Look, we don't have a lot of time left. If Collins wishes to be fulfilled, we need you to work with us. Do you still not understand? Collins' wish is no longer something you can grant him. His wish now is for you to be gone. What did you do? What? I didn't do anything. Unless... Eva? Hey! That wasn't so bad anymore. Wait a minute. Sweet! It's a Christmas miracle! Get ahead of yourself! This again. I won't let you get to him. God. Fucking birds! Yeah, no! Oh, f hacking flip! Oh my god. I see. I'm just. I'm just laying on that fucking shoot button. I don't care. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah! No! Fuck! Ah! Fuck. No. no! No, 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 no! Oh my god! Oh, flip. Okay. Where, oh, where, 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 where? Oh, how did I dodge that? I don't know. Oh, fuck me. Ah, no, birds! Uh. <laughs> come on, come on, come on! Yes! Yes, I did it! I got her! Yes! <laughs> Rogue activity no longer detected in this memory. Finally, something's working. Oh boy, he run. Can I... Oh, that's Asher, never mind. Yes, I'll return to overworld. Viva, are you here somewhere? Oh god, do I have to fucking beat her in the fucking fighter game too? Because that's not gonna be fucking easy. Wait a minute. This is the last accessible memory we, where we saved a communi communicative copy of Colin. Not quite as bright as the real thing, but sure beats nothing at all. upstairs. I thought if she would be anywhere, it would be here, but okay, I guess not. Colin, can you hear me? Oh, you're back. Yes, listen, I need your help. The- Hello? You locked down the one who created you. That? No, that's not the real Colin. That's merely a partial copy of him that you created. I'm 
preparing for a boss battle. Come on, you lost your edge. That's quite the confidence for someone who just got lucky. There's still time. Work with us and we'll make the best of this. The best of this would be you leaving Colin alone. And I'll be the one making sure of that. Oh my god, there is no way I'm gonna be able to fucking beat her in this. No way I can take you on now, right? Try me. Oh my god. Jump, you idiot! Oh my god, I am so bad at this. Freaking cool. Oh my god, I have to fucking beat it. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Why am I so bad at this? Ah! Fuck me. Die, you beach. You can like only jump up and down. You know what? I might as well just fucking stay here and jump up and down. Just fucking time it right, you idiot. What if I just accept the outcome? What happens then? Something seems to be happening. Maybe Eva's having better luck. External patch installation initiated. What the? Is that you, Eva? Okay. Rogue mental activity detected. This wasn't here before. She's here somewhere. Better not leave so soon. Just please don't let me do the fucking... Fighter game again. I can't. outside again Eva Eva there you are hey where have you been I've been looking everywhere for you you see Faye around here don't worry I took care of her I don't think this is Eva already what did you do Oh, and uh, sorry about the mess here. I probably should have cleaned it up. You know, I've been thinking that we should just leave. Wait, what? The patient clearly doesn't want us here. We should respect his wishes. Oh, she's doing she's doing the thing that Faye does with her hair. What are you talking about? The patients don't always know what they really want. You of all people should know. Wait a minute. Aww. I guess it's no use. I should know by now. You aren't just gonna leave. I really don't know what to do anymore. But I have to keep going. Even if it just stalls you. 
Uh... Okay, wait, hold on just a minute. Wow, those clouds sure aren't as fluffy as they look. I was joking when I said boss battle. You've gone on for long enough. But this is where your trespassing ends. Oh <laughs> no! Uh, shoe? Okay, uh... Armageddon kick. Okay, that did a bit more than the shoe. <laughs> Armageddon kick. You know, for an imaginary character, your attacks are... Kind of vanilla. Don't... Don't tell her that. R Rudog? Ugh, I could really use some help. Look, we don't have to do this. Then forfeit. Why are you still here? That was the best one. For sure, yeah. Hey, Nabbit. Yes, I want- I want to retry this. It was this one time with the long line at the grocery store, but here, guess not. Uh huh. Armageddon kick. Not enough SP, oh no. It doesn't tell me how much SP I have or how much it spends though, so. True, I guess it is. The. Rocket dog? Compliments. Nose laser, I guess? Compliments. Oh! Yo, let's fucking go! Question Rudog. The imaginary dog is question and ceased to exist. Damn it. Ah, oh, fuck. I should have just accepted it. It's fine. Armageddon kick.
Okay, I think I got her. Oh, you... Okay, thank God. Ah! <sighs> Well, that was a hoot. I beg to differ. Ah, oh, shoot. Rudok's still up there. I forgot to thank him. But why did he help me? Shouldn't y'all made up being Zact in unison of Colin's consciousness? Maybe even Colin himself isn't always so sure of what he wants. But so what? With all that you tempt him with, it's no surprise that he got lost. That's okay, though. He may not know what he wants, but I know what he needs. Look, you may be a part of his mind, but clearly you don't speak for his entirety. Could it be that you're wrong? I mean, no offense, but you aren't much more than an than that incomplete copy of Colin back there. In fact, I'm not even sure if there's a point in talking to you right now. After all, you're just an ethereal figment of his imagination that never even existed. Perhaps so, but is that any different from what you are here to do? Eva, let's go! Hey, sorry, I had to head out for a moment there. She's all in Colin's head, by the way. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm intimately familiar with that, by f that fact by now. But uh, what were you doing? You just bailed out on me. I was out administering sedatives to curb Colin's brain activity. I'm not sure how his mental process would o could override us, but he was getting out of hand. So that wasn't a Christmas miracle after all. It took a while to work out the dosage, as we still need his brain functioning. Seems like it's working, though. The effect should be sinking in more now. Wow, just what have you been dealing with over here? Don't ask. What the heck is that? Just some new code Roxy sent me. She said she saw issues with the machine earlier and knew we'd be in trouble. Wrote a patch in her car while Rob was driving, apparently. Show off. Did, uh, did she say anything else about the machine? Aside from you doing a crappy job with the self-repairs? No, not like there was much to talk about. Actually, I'm still not sure if Colin is stable enough for this to work yet. Huh, I didn't expect her to be, so be locked down for good this soon. I must have tired Colin out quite a bit. Well, it was, uh... Hard fought. Whatever it was, good thing this worked. I doubt we'd have time for a retry. I do have some questions for you about this incident, though. But those can wait until the case is done. The effect of the sedative is temporary. We have little time as it is. Come on, let's move on already, while we still can. This might just be the most hassle we've ever gone through for a single memory link. Hmm? What is it? Oh, it's just something she said earlier. Mm-hmm, that whole thing was messed up. Did she turn freaky and ghastly on you too? Yeah, but that's not what I meant. Never mind, let's just get going and chat later. What a detour. I guess it's not exactly a journal after all. White tire. No. Oh, we just need to find a... Okay. We've been kept here for long enough as it is. Let's get going. 
Go where? Where do you want me to go? The flower? Jeez, are they just spreading hibiscus seeds wherever they go? I guess it's the hibiscus. Okay, whatever. Ah. That worked. <laughs> Backing up iterative data for applied selection. Data backup will complete and store to repository. Why? S sir? Why? That took a while. Weren't you right behind me? I just had to clean up that mess back there. Well, let's go and see what we find at the vortex of all this. I have a guess. So, I uh, think this is a case of schizophrenia? Well, with that, the patient usually has trouble actively distinguishing delusion from reality. In this case, I get the feeling that he's actually well, well aware of it. Still can't say for certain, but I'm leaning towards some kind of defense mechanism instead. The more curious question is how she's able to materialize here so vividly. I think she's still able to, uh, see us? Hard to say, but she shouldn't be able to interfere for now at least. It seems to be just a normal memory playback. Didn't exactly stick that soft landing, huh? Like I had much practice on an actual grass strip. I miss being able to run. You can't just give me running and then take it from me like that. What you waiting for? Come on! Haven't you ever heard of the phrase, stop and smell the roses? There are flowers on top of the hill too, you know? I'll race you there! Thinking. It's a little windy today. Maybe we should come back some other time instead. Oh, don't be such a downer. We're practically already there. Hey, remember when we played Catch Me If You Can? The wind? Wasn't there a moment ago? What is the matter now? Let's just rest here for a while. Again? You barely walked any steps. Hey, I'm the one who has to carry this thing uphill. Oh, I just thought you'd have gotten stronger by now, that's all. 
Cello got bigger too, you know. Just come and sit here with me for a bit, will you? Do you remember the first time we came here? Which first time? The second one, I guess. The one where I tried to race you up the hill. Oh yeah, that was a dumb move. Sh you sure were excited to take me up there, though? Yeah, it had been a while since I took anyone there. It's still one of my favorite places. I've always liked how it overlooked the city. It really has been a while, hasn't it? I rather miss going there. So why are you hesitating? Hmm? We're mere steps away from there, you know? Why are you stopping every step along the way? Stop kidding yourself, Colin. You're not tired, and it's not the wind. You've already come so far. You know as well as I what we have to do. I still have so many freaking questions. First time we came here. That was the first time I accompanied you to play the scales too, wasn't it? Yeah, it helped. Still does, actually. Well, no one likes to practice scales alone. But you could never actually hear what I was playing, could you? It's nice up here today. Up there today. It always is. You don't have to leave anymore. You can fly now. Wherever you go, I can go with you. You're really are stubborn, aren't you? Do you think you're getting a bit too old for me to stay? People who laugh at you would laugh at you if they knew. You can laugh all they want. I don't care. You made me who I am today. I learned to fly because of you. I kept playing the cello because of you. You taught me to practice the scales. No, Colin. I can't teach you anything you don't know. Nor can I make you do anything you don't want. Maybe all you really wanted was for someone to be there. Even if it's just... if it was just someone like me. I know it's mesmerizing here, Colin. But you have been spending so much time with me and imagining what, what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is and all that could be? Sometimes, stepping out of this little world we've made is the only way to notice and appreciate all the beautiful things all around you. I just don't want to be alone. Sure, if I go, you'll be alone at times, even when you don't want to be. But that's all a part of growing up, and it's all a part of life. That's what makes fleeting moments with loved ones treasured, and our memories precious. It's also what drives you to seek out what you, what you wouldn't find if you just stayed here with me. 
There's a lot out there just waiting for you, Colin. I can't promise it'll always be good, but... I know you won't find all that you need living only in these pages of ours. You brought me into this world. I won't forget that. And while some things are meant to stay, some are only meant to carry you so far. In my own way, I know I will always be there to protect you. And whatever comes, if it's something we could do, then it's something you could do. What do you say, Colin? Are you ready? I don't know. I don't think I'm ready for it to end. I don't care what you are or aren't. You were my first real friend. Hey, this doesn't have to be the end for us. One day, you might look back and realize how fast this precious life has passed you by. And on that day, I'll come back once more. We'll talk like how we used to talk, and you'll tell me about your day. No, about your life. You'll tell me about what a happy life you've had, and all the nice memories you've made. I not have such a happy life, you know. You're such a downer, you know that? Have a little faith in yourself, Colin. Of course you will. I know you will. It may take a long time, and it may take a lot of work and effort. But when that day comes, I know you'll have lots of happy memories to share. Ah, it's almost time. How much have you written in that book by now? You replaced its pages so many times, huh? I must talk a lot. Sorry about that. But now that I'm going, perhaps you could finally spare more pages for other things. It's your book. You don't have to always write about me anymore. It's just like life, right? Same book filled with all kinds of different pages as it should be. Take care of yourself, alright? Hey. I still... I haven't said goodbye yet. You already have, Colin. A long, long time ago. Hey, why am I sad over a fucking imaginary friend? <laughs> Please. She never came back, did she? Guess not. The story just works. I mean, I guess. I, it, it didn't hit as hard as To the Moon. But, uh... There's still a bit left, so who knows. I wonder if she's a cause or an effect. As in, do you think Colin's unhappy because she never came back again? If Colin only wanted to see her again, I thought he would have needed to call us. Yeah, so perhaps her absence at the end meant that he was already unhappy by then. Back to square one. Make her be like a literal part of his memories. Like, literally just like... Interacting with... Everyone else around him. This place is destabilizing again. We don't have much time left. Are you going to play the third game? I really want to. Let's move. We have 
We have to make do with what we have. Uh, wait. Do we even know what we're doing with them yet? We have a few ideas to try, but we still need to link the link the mementos first. Let's get back to the overworld and figure things out while we do that. Alright. What the heck? Uh, wait, just uh... They really worked hard on the sprites in, in, in this game though, I will say. In my own way, I will always be there to protect you. Neil? What's taking you so long? Oh, God damn it! this place is falling apart. There's no time to wait for him. Okay, uh... Through the four games, you can see how they improved with the engine and, and the sprites. I believe that. Oh, I did it. I think that's all of them, but... Poor Gaze, you're counting uh, a bird story too, right? I have that one too. What's that, uh? What is happening? What is this place? Memories. They're falling apart. All them. When you go through the procedure and live that new life, just hold on to something from here. Not like that, Via. Forget about you. In the blink of an eye, suddenly there is no more time. I find myself here just like everyone else. I just want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know? That's why we're here, Colin. Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want us to fix? Just to make me live that fulfilling life without changing anything I've been through. We only have so little time in this life. And we'd never be able to do all that we want. No matter what we do, there'd always be other things we'd want to try, other paths to take. Phoenix, hi! Did it spill in your dress? Hey, just one more excuse to jump into the lagoon. to waste all that lemon juice. Have you ever tried writing with it? Lemon juice? No, why? Ha! Huh. Then prepare to be mind blown by some elementary school magic. Get this! It's invisible ink! Invisible ink? Yep, the writing appears in color only when you heat the paper up. Come on, I'll show you. Let's write something with it. It's been a while since I've written. Well, 
never too late to start again. How about a letter? To who? Each other, of course. We could write about this trip. It's been kind of a journey, hasn't it? And at the end of it, we could show each other what we wrote... What... What we wrote of it all. I'm <laughs> still wasting it. You're so negative. Why was this not a part of that memory earlier? Because spoilers? I don't fucking know. Why would you even consider? Why would you toss aside everything we have for something make-believe? Not tossing anything aside. Help, I'm stuck. Where am I going? Wait. TV? Yes. We all have regrets, be it writing a wrong or a dream long past. At Sigmund Corp, we give you that second chance to make things right. Because with our help, it's never too late. Wait, these... don't seem like just randomly scattered memories. Could it be that the sedative's wearing off? different even from the man you were when I first met you you're no longer aloof you know when you're here you're actually here the minisodes from the first one I think I did like years ago It's mesmerizing here. Faye spoke after a pause, shifting her gaze back up at the sky. You've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. Do you think you're forgetting what actually is and all that could be? Okay, look. I got it. Got your message, you hear me? I know you're still here. You can come and get me now. Damn it, I really thought it was her. Oh, wait. Is that really the only way to... Where the hey have you been? Figured it out, Eva. I figured out the impossible. I mean... It took an unholy amount of spoon-feeding, but I guess that's what it takes when we're on the inside of it. What are you talking about? Yes, just what are you talking about? The sedative, it wore off already? You don't sound too happy about it. We're here to help Colin, and you're the mental process that's in the way. Well, lucky for you, that can be amended now, can it? So, looks like we're about out of time. If you're going to erase me for good, you might as well hurry. No, we're not going to erase you. We're going to erase us. Wait, what? Colin never needed our service, Eva. He already had her. The ability to change his reality to live in a different world. One that filled the gaps of what he wanted all in his head. She is what we do, Eva. And yet, she left. She left, which could have only meant one thing. What you're trying to imply. No, that can't be right. What we do is different from just this. How is it different? We... Because there's more to it. There's more to what we do. We fulfill wishes. We give meaning to people's lives. 
What we do, it has to be more than just that of an imaginary friend. It's a lot more elaborate, for sure. But someone who had to fight just to let go of fantasy and embrace reality. Maybe our existence was merely an unwelcome, unwelcomed amplifier. A reminder of the make-believe, the imaginary. And the endless possibilities that make reality seem less than what it is. Hey, you too. Things aren't looking good with the patient. I don't know what you're up to, but you might want to get out of there. I might want I need I mean need to. After all that, huh? I guess none of this even matters anymore. There's no way we'd still have the time to implement any actual changes. No, we might not have the time. But what about her? She's already linked to the machine's interface, right? Without us, all procedures would be internalized. So much could be done in a fraction of a moment. You're suggesting giving sole control of the machine to a mental process of the patient. The ethical implications of that... It, it hasn't been done for good reasons. It hasn't been done because no patient has had a chance like this. Besides, what's our alternative? Just leave and mark this as a write-off? But what about legal complications? In the contract, it says... Oh, come on, Eva. When has the contract stopped us? Uh, guys? Go on, I'll be right behind. Don't say I never trust you. doing this for us? Well, if I were calling in on my last breath, I'd trust you over two strangers in white coats, right? Strangers, huh? Your colleague was right about one thing. There is more to what you do than just playing God with people's memories. Gotta go, I hope you enjoy the rest of the game. Oh, thank you! Oh, thank you so much for the follow, too! Thank you, thank you, I really appreciate that. Thank you for staying here for a while, I really appreciate that too. We've been here for just a day, yet... In all of this lifetime, no one else has truly seen the world through his eyes like you have. Well, you're kind of the first I've been able to meet too. In some silly way, maybe that's a part of what Colin really wished for. It was one heck of a meet and greet, that's for sure. All admin access transferred to unknown... Hey. <laughs> You're gonna be alright? Just a little nervous, I guess. Well, given the circumstances, I'd say that's pretty alright. Hey. Do you think that in some ways, I've truly existed? Well, for what it's worth, I think all our memories and everything in it can be nothing but the fiction we tell ourselves. Good luck out there. Colin's counting on you. I'm just like sitting here thinking like, this man paid a lot of money for this? <laughs> Like, <laughs> it's not something that's just free. <laughs> right? Or am I, am I mixing that up with the previous game? His blood pressure is dropping. Vital signs are fading fast. I think he's letting go.
Sorry for your loss. Please take all the time you need. I'll be in the living room with the paperwork. When they're ready, I'll let them know. Always a little stark, isn't it? Seeing it like this after just having been in there. Uh, it is what it is. I'm just a little cold. It felt warmer in there. What we did back there. Do you know if it worked? Hard to say. I'll try to dig through the data afterward, but... Well, it's never been done like this before. I don't know how coherent it'll be. Guess we got another mess of a report to write. We can take care of that when the dust settles. In the meantime, I just remember something. So, did you succeed? There was a complication. We tried to cope with something unorthodox, but... I'm not sure if we'll ever know what really happened in those last moments. Hey, Sophia said you got a lighter? Uh, yeah. i 
demonstrating my yesterday is to wish my life away. Looking for something, old timer? It's been a while, huh? A long while. I haven't changed much. And whose fault is that now? Listen, I wish it were under better circumstances, but... I know. Wish I still had the time to tell you about all that's happened since then. It's okay. I was there. Or something. <laughs> I'm only here to say goodbye. Just tell me one thing, though. Still have any regrets? Regrets? Yeah, I have a lot of them. It's okay. The chances I missed, the mishaps, and all that I wish I had. Well, they were all still a part of it. They made way for all that I do have. And what I do have, I wouldn't trade for anything else in the world. It's all I wish to hear. for you. It's time to go home. Hey. Colin. Sorry I had to leave back then. Thank you for having been there, even when nobody else was. game really made me fucking cry over a... an imaginary friend bullshit <laughs> I'm angry <laughs> I'm not Welp. Welp is right. I like these games, but they also like leave me with like this bittersweet feeling. 
You know, because in the end, this is all just happening inside of the patient's head. I'm still also just thinking about how he likely paid paid a lot of money for this. <laughs> what now? Good question. I have no idea. Interesting game? You liked it? I liked it. Like I like I said earlier, it what it didn't hit as hard as To the Moon did. But uh not really my type, that's fair. Yeah, To the Moon definitely hit me a lot harder. Uh but this one was also pretty good. I'm interested in the third game. What's up? Where are you? My scotch! Drinking home. Oh, drinking home. Okay. Uh -huh. You said you'd be here. I said I'd visit like we always do. Not attend the funeral. When was the last time we even did that? I know, but... I just thought we owe it to him after... After Rosaline, we're about to start. Go on, I'll get my turn. Alright, enjoy your scotch. Mmm, that scotch drinking home, you say? You know it. Now, where were we? Ooh, not looking sketchy at all, Neil. I ask you to knock, not hack my lock. Switching to digital was a terrible idea. Why didn't you just keep both locks on? Hang nabbit, Rob. I don't know why she even got you involved. Look, we don't have long. Are you guys still in or not? You betcha. So, is that the solution you were talking about? Yeah, that's her. Wait. That said I did bird story. I have not done bird story. <laughs> Wait, did it said I have done bird story? I don't know. Think so? Yeah, well I haven't. <laughs> Maybe it's just like what they have done, like as like a uh, 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 what's it called? Like a game development team, something like that. Maybe I don't know. Damn, that was. Nice though. I like that. Ah. So. Yeah. 
So what game now? Good question. I've kind of been wanting to uh, replay like the Sherlock Holmes games because there was like this new one that's like not technically connected, I guess. But uh, I remember just liking the other ones too, so maybe I should do that. Maybe I should just skip straight to the new one. I don't know. Uh, witness randomizer. <laughs> uh, I I want I I'm gonna do that someday. I I'm not sure when. Uh, I also someday. Well, yeah, I just finished the witness. Like, give me at least some time, like a few weeks or something. <laughs> But are you familiar with the Sherlock Holmes games? Nope. Oh, they're puzzle solving games. Um. Uh, well. <laughs> they're pretty fun. I, I like them a lot. What kind of puzzles? Well, you solve murders, <laughs> for one. It's been a while since I've played it, so I don't remember exactly, unfortunately. I remember that there is, like, uh, this part where you have to just, like... It kind of reminds me of Danganronpa, anyway. Step one, commit murder. Step two, solve it. Step three, go to jail. <laughs> Solve your own murder? <laughs> well, yeah, obviously you would go to jail then if it's your own murder and you solve it. <laughs> but yeah, there's like uh, this this part where you have to like put everything in sequence and stuff. Like that happened first and that happened second and stuff uh, to like figure out exactly what happened. Like I said, it's been a while. But, yeah. There's also Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1, which is like the newest one. Where he is younger, I guess. You don't know if he will stay now? I'm gonna end the stream now. I'm not gonna stream anymore now. I've been streaming for almost three hours. I'm definitely not gonna jump onto like the third game in this series. Uh, only three? Yeah, I don't, uh, I'm not gonna play, like, the last game in this series just, just yet, either. Yeah. And like I've said, I, I also really want to replay Zero Escape as, like, bonus streams, like, just scattered in between regular streams, I guess. You're just messing? Okay. <laughs> Cool. Just, just like a forewarning, I may not always understand when something is supposed to be a... Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> when something is supposed to be a joke. <laughs> As I am autistic and I kind of struggle with, like, flavor. <laughs> Sometimes. Not all the time. It's not really that consistent either. This has been stuck in my head for the past two days. The blindly, the blindly, the love. Feels like a short stream compared to when we play The Witness. Yeah, it is. But this is usually like where I like keeping my streams. I don't 
like them going too long. Back when I first played Ace Attorney, I mean, I'm, I'm still playing Ace Attorney, it's just kind of on hold right now because I have like two games left and I played it for like nine, nine months. <laughs> I spent nine months pretty much just playing Ace Attorney. So, <laughs> so I remember that there was like this one game because I decided never seen Ace Attorney. Uh, I have, I don't fucking know how many hours do I have of it? I know I have like three streams that are, what is it, like over 11 hours? Or was it 10 hours? What is them? Listen, I've had some long streams. Let me just check real quick. There it is. Okay, so I have fucking 70 videos here. That's sweet. And... Uh, yeah, they quickly just got really long. Because <laughs> the further I got in, I was like, you know what? I want to keep like an entire like episode, which is like God knows how many like parts. I'll check this word later. Um Yeah, I have this. I have a fucking stream here that's like almost 12 hours. Like five minutes short of 12 hours. And then I have like three streams that were like consecutively. Like three days in a row. Uh, 11 hours, 14 minutes. 10 hours, 25 minutes. 9 hours, 7 minutes. Like over nine hours for like three days in a row. That was... What game? Uh, one of the Ace Attorney games. <laughs> there are like 10 of them. And I've been through eight. <laughs> so I'm missing two. but I will play next. Maybe I'll just do something else. I still haven't finished my playthrough of Miitopia on my Switch either, to be honest. I thought the colors would have been inverted. E yeah, it was cheap. You can't really expect too much. <laughs> and I never actually thought about it until you said it just now. So... <laughs> So great lighting. Yeah, I really like it. I think it's really cute. But yes, with that, I am gonna end this stream here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much to Somebody Nowhere for the follow. What's the poster on the wall? Oh, that's this group. <laughs> this group, Johnny's West. Hold on. Here. Breaking it. Uh, the lighting is messing up, but yes, this is the poster. <laughs> yes. There are my favorite groups. They're a Japanese group. I actually saw them in concert back in 2019. It, that was a lot of fun. Hold on, actually, I believe I have like the song that that song that poster like specifically is from, like the music video. Uh, where is it? Why oh, is it not here? It's not one of the ones that got claimed on YouTube, is it? <laughs> Might be, I don't know. Oh, there it is, found it. 
No? This one, thank you. Like I can see, it's like a similar looking picture. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you to somebody nowhere for the follow. Really appreciate it. Next stream is gonna be on Thursday. And I'll have to think long and hard about what I want to stream. I do want to play something more simple though. I don't know. Hmm. I'll figure it out, probably. Yes. Okay. Again, thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.